Go ahead. So this is where the cherry blossom saga begins. This is the cherry blossom tree that Now, Jesus this is a tree that you gave your mother when? I gave this tree to my mother when I was making about $7 an hour. So I had to save for months to buy this little, little tree and for And how much did it cost? Do you remember? A little bit under $100. Oh, really? And you came here, and then what year do you think that was? That would have been 1986 or 87. And she said, don't plant it by the road. It's just a baby. It's just a baby. And I knew that the tree needed to have space to grow. So I put it there anyway. And then every year I came up and I cut the tree. And she would fight oh. with me. Don't touch the tree. Don't touch the tree. Oh, that's to make it spread. Yeah. And as a kid, I used to mow lawns. And one of the things I had to do whenever I walked the lawnmower by a cherry blossom tree was go like this. Oh. And the trees were always really short. So oh. we fought about where the tree was going to go. Uh -huh. We fought about the fact that I cut the branches. Uh -huh. And now all these years later, it's the biggest tree on the block. It hangs over into the road. Uh -huh. And it's not just an attribute of physical beauty. People come into her yard and say, what did you do to the tree? And I see How up here, here it looks like a bird put a nest up A there. bird nest. And every year she lights it up with pink uh, holiday lights. And she dedicates it to uh, cancer awareness, whether it be a family oh. member or just to let oh. people that drive up and down the block kind of know like why oh. does that lady have that pink tree and she actually did two interviews where the local press came and talked to her about this tree becoming uh, a medical awareness tree during the holiday season so oh, with the traffic it's, that bre she's, it's like a breast cancer symbol it's right? a breast cancer awareness tree because she lights it with pink lights which is the pink ribbon of the breast cancer tree so it's a mother's day present uh, a welcome of spring a breast cancer awareness tree and a piece of family art that stands here on Ocean Avenue. You know, I had an aunt who died of breast cancer. I know members of your family have had problems with Well, that's too. the thing. We figured, right. you know, the whole family's together on Christmas. And I bet some people come and tell you things. Do many people know that it really is a breast cancer awareness tree? Do you know? They do because Teresa did numerous press articles and oh. she states every time it's she put a pink thing and it, what, a pink it, ribbon on the it, on the trunk and, and it's a nice big sign. Uh, yes. And yeah. she talks about it in the press because when you have the whole table full of family members, it's easier to say, hey, did you hear Aunt Teresa has a pink tree? Why? Oh, it's a breast cancer tree. Now, the same conversation. Hey, who at Christmas wants to talk about breast cancer? It just doesn't work. So we found this to be an easy way for families to talk about it. And it's the Mother's Day present, the art tree, the spring tree, the breast cancer tree. And it's just a piece of beauty here. It's a, it's a family heirloom. It's a family heirloom. I think we're going to have to put a plaque on it so no one... Uh, will ever remove it, not knowing that it's going to be one of the most beautiful pink flowering trees on the block in the first week of March and April.